for Desmos crafting tutorial. So uh, the last time we left off, uh, we, uh, we 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 just drew an oval for for the character. You know, I, I don't want to jump in directly into into um into doing all the into getting all the details in yet. Uh, I want to I want to get like a general posture of of, of this this character just so we know uh, where, where we want to put everything um <clears throat> so that said uh uh so plan for today is uh i want to get it uh i want to get a stick figure drawing in first and and then uh um and, and then uh, and then start adding in and start fleshing it out uh if, if we if if we have time today Otherwise, uh, we will definitely do that. Do that the next time, All right? Um. So. So, so I want to make the body part. So, um, I want to draw the back of the character. So this one is just going to be a vertical line. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to picture this as I'm. Uh, as I'm getting the lines in, so uh, this is so uh, I'm thinking it's gonna be like a gonna have a vertical line going down like this, and uh, maybe starting here we'll, we'll we'll draw legs in and have the arms maybe at about here. Uh, so the arms are gonna be at negative one, so it's gonna start at the point. But what the arms are gonna do? Uh, I want to have one going forward and the other one's gonna be going backwards. Uh, so that's going to be, in fact, uh, let's first just get out of the way. Uh, why isn't it, when, what is, where is this? Oh, it's actually negative 0 0.75. Okay, and uh, as for the uh, arms, well, since this is just guidelines, I uh, want to get them in as quickly as possible. So, so for the arms, let's make that. Got stuff going on outside as I'm recording this. Um, so let's be x minus thirteen plus thirteen, um, and then. And that's going to be moved down over here. And then we'll uh, then we'll have, have the legs that are around. I don't think though that's that's a pretty long body for a character with a small head. It's going to be negative one point five. We're going to draw the next one the same way. And then uh, we'll have this Sorry, really long legs. Um, and then it's gonna. This is gonna be above negative two. It's gonna be right above ground level. This one uh, negative one point two five. This is looking out of proportion. So this is the entire arm. I'm, yeah, let's. I'm, not, I'm just going to extend this out over there. So it's going to be greater than two. One point five. And this and this one is going to end at negative one point five. Just bear in mind that that uh, all of these are are just our guidelines. I'm gonna make this purple. Um, as for a character, we're gonna be having him looking directly to 
the right. So we're only going to see exactly half his face. So we're going to see one ear, a uh, maybe like a majority of the brow, an eye, um, and then uh, and then part of his mouth, and a nose is going to pop out his face by a little bit. <clears throat> So uh, since so since I've already decided to do the face first, can't mouse zoom. I can get this in. Try zoom a little more. That looks good. Um, so we'll get an ear in first. So uh, the shape of an ear. Let's go to start with the half circle. Let's start with a half circle and see, and see see what that looks like. Um. So a, a half circle is. Uh, so we're gonna have that. Have that slightly to the right. Let's make that one minus x plus. 13.125 squared minus what is this? Negative negative a half. Okay, and then we definitely want the smaller, so uh to so keep track of our radius, to um, so remember for a half circle, it's going to be uh, we still have the radius squared in here, so we're going to keep on adjusting values until we get the value that we want. Eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Oh, small. That looks fine. So now, so now there's going to be uh, at least the decimal is still clean with one over twenty, because one over twenty in decimal form is zero point zero five. Uh, <clears throat> and do, do I think I can still move this over by a little bit? Uh, this is where I have to do a bit of adjusting because I don't want this. I don't, I don't want this ear to be dead center. That is too high. Let's squish this in by a little bit. Force too much. 1.5 squared. There we go. So it's still nice clean decimal. I hope that doesn't look clean. Um, oh, I see why, because now we're, this is going in by a factor of 1.5, even, even, even though we squared it to try, try to keep it clean. Uh, so this is so this is what the became the ears gonna look like, and we might have to shoot this over by it's thirteen point zero two five. Looks good enough for me. Um, and then. Okay, I'm running a little short on time, so uh, so I guess for I guess uh, your new introduction for now is going to be an inverse trig function. It, so we're going to continue with y equals sine sine inverse of x. So uh, we're going to be working with that next week. I'll see you then.